they won't leave the people. And those people are always like, if you've got people who are going to pull you down, you, you don't got to hate them. You don't got to be mad at them. I got a lot of people who I love very much and who I like very much who don't have a place in my life. Because How so? Toxic. What do you mean that? <laughs> uh, I got no personal problem with them. I got okay. no personal problem with them. But, but their philosophy of how they live their life mm -hmm. is, is, going to, is going to drag me down. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, I got people, and this is less than I'm forty. I'm forty three now. I just turned forty two, or I think I turned. I'm forty three. Yeah, I turned forty three. So this is less and less. You know, I got a family and stuff like that. But when I was when I was quitting drinking, when I was you know when I was trying to quit using drugs, man, I had to walk. I had to walk away from a lot of people because there were those people who would say, you know, ah, oh, you know, it's not that bad, or oh, so you're gonna be, oh, so you're a sellout. Oh, you think you're better than us? It wasn't about that. It was like, this shit's going to kill me. I can't do anything with my life as long as I'm doing these things. You know? I, I'm not mad at them. I want nothing but good things for them. Mm -hmm. But at a point, and I think if somebody shows you that they are invested in suffering, if they are invested in, in, in complaining, you can't let them have too much of your energy, man. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. Because they when a person, when that's what they're invested in, they're always going to bring that to your door. Always. Because that's mm -hmm. what they're about. They're not about solutions. They're not about getting better. Mm -hmm. Their identity is in suffering. Does that make more sense? That makes, yeah, it makes perfect sense, man. Do now I, I ask you, do you think you, and let's say that person that you, that you just described will have not eventually, but can eventually click back again? If they're willing to get healthy or, or on the, on the downside, if I'm willing, if I decide that I'm going to start making bad choices, yeah, we can click. I start drinking again. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably click real well. Mm. The thing is I ain't doing that. Right. But, and, and over the years I've had quite a few people like from my past and like what, what came good of it was like me doing this different thing. Like I've had people reach out and say like, Hey, how did you change? what made the big difference for you? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, and that's what I mean about not being mad at them, not hating them. Now you can be there for them. If they do start making changes, mm -hmm. you can be there for them and you can help them, but I'm not going to give my time and energy to somebody who's invested in staying the same way they are. Mm -hmm. All right. It's, it, man, it, all you got is time. Everything else is replaceable. There's always more money. There's always more stuff. There's never more time. And so I'm pretty careful about who I give my time to. Yeah, when, when you realize that, like you said, time is all you have and you're not getting them back, you, you start being more selective with your time. Absolutely. Which is important. I feel like a lot of people, especially a lot of you know young adults like, like myself, mm -hmm. they, they are not investing their time into something that's going to benefit them in the future. And I know we talked about living in the moment, but, you know, if you are being productive in the moment, that's going to create a better moment for you in the future. That, you get what I'm that, trying to say? A hundred percent. That's people say like, well, if I just live in the moment, then why don't I just eat donuts all day and then you, spend then all you, my money? Then YOLO, right? I don't yeah, like this a, YOLO thing. I want, you know, I was like, okay, you only live once. So wear your seatbelt. You only live once, so 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 be wise about it, right? right. I, I never understood how does YOLO equal doing dumb shit? Mm -hmm. Like you only live once, so so like let's be smart about this. You only got one shot. Like mm -hmm. why would you waste that one shot? Mm -hmm. Um, but I get it because when I was young, I was very, you know, I was I was YOLO before YOLO was a thing. Mm -hmm. Um but it's a it's a very that's a nihilistic perspective. You know, that's very nihilistic, a very nihilistic way to live your life, but yeah, so because, because I live in the moment, I want to feel as good as I can in this moment. So I try to exercise. I try to eat well. I try to just do those smart things. In this moment, I want to be wise with my money. You know, so I'm going to invest it. it. Living in the moment is not about pretending that the future doesn't exist. It's about being the healthiest, best person you can right now so that when you get to that future, when you get to that present, things are still cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, you know, it's like, well, this is the only moment. So I'm just going to go drink some, I'm just going to start drinking whiskey right now. 
-hmm. like that's not what it's about at all that's 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 a nihilistic perspective in my in my opinion that's a very negative way to live Mm -hmm. um and the other thing too i find is that when you're doing right in the moment you don't have the desire for those unhealthy things you know i don't have the desire for all the dumb shit i used to do i don't i don't avoid it because like i'm afraid of it i avoid it because like my life's really good Mm. I wouldn't want to change that. Like, I like what I've got. I like my life. I wake mm-hmm. up every day happy to be alive. Mm-hmm. That wasn't me for I mean, the first 25 years of my life. I wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like, uh, you know, those substitutions like alcohol, drugs, partying, yeah. um, they're fillers to Absolutely. a bigger problem one might have Absolutely. in their life. And, yeah. uh, you know, so. At times I'm like, damn, how, how do those people like, like, what type of dumb people think like that, you know? But then again, I get a bit empathetic, and, you know, and, and I, I get, I feel some sort of compassion. Maybe that person is really doesn't know how to get out of, of that hole they're in. So I, exactly. I get empathetic because they may not know better, you know, it, it may, I feel like that's most cases, but a lot of people who are you know stuck in that in that lifestyle they get they get bashed for being that li- in that lifestyle but right. i feel like a lot of people really don't know don't have a solution or don't know how to get out of that problem i'd say everybody like right? that's that's my my core belief about people is that and and this i think that if you really think this through it 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 bears out every single person you've ever met everybody's doing the best they can with what they have Like nobody does, like I think as a species, we can't do something harmful to ourselves unless we see benefit in it. Like there has to be, we can't take an action if we don't see a benefit of some Mm -hmm. kind. Now, like, so when I was drinking all the time, when I was, you know, when I was, when I was, you know, just getting high and using drugs and just living the life, like that had a benefit for me. People who never were in it, they'd say things like, well, you, that, that doesn't do you any good. Yes, it does me good. I feel this great. This makes my life bearable. Yeah, this makes me happy. I'm getting up mm. at 5 a.m. to work a job I hate with people I hate in a world I hate. But at five o'clock in the afternoon when I get off, I got this warm little, I got this bright little spot mm. called alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Like I had that to look forward to. I didn't have anything mm. else in my life to look forward to. Now it was super short term. Mm. But the thing was, is that I was 20 years old. I was dumb. I was doing the best I had. I was doing the best I could with what I had. Mm-hmm. I, in years and years and years, I was up as a social worker back in like 2003, 2004. So mm-hmm. I've worked with people in some capacity for a long time now. And I tell people like, I've never met a bad person. I've met people who are making, like who, who are really unskillful in what mm-hmm. they're doing. And I'm telling you, I've worked with people who, who hurt other people physically, who hurt other people mentally and emotionally but they're doing it like they're they're always trying to do something good even if it's for themselves mm. and that doesn't mean that there's no such thing as like right and wrong like if somebody's harming somebody yeah we got to stop them like that's not okay we don't just say like oh you're doing the best you can go do your thing like that's that's dumb we don't do that but it helps us come to a place of understanding where people are coming from mm. you know and it's the word i use a lot is i use skillful versus unskillful i don't usually use good and bad Like, mm-hmm. is, is, is this decision skillful or is it unskillful? And what I've found over the years is that there's just a whole bunch of really, of people making really unskillful choices trying to deal with their shit. Mm-hmm. I did it forever. I used, uh, I tell people like, like drugs and alcohol, everything. When I got out of that, like being against drugs and alcohol became my new thing. That's what I latched on to. That's mm-hmm. what I used to get out of it. Um, but then that became like its own belief system and its own and it that put blinders on me to where I was judgmental of people who who drank and who did drugs you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. um it's that middle ground you talked about that middle path mm-hmm. you know um it but I think when we can recognize that everybody's doing the best they can with what they have it makes empathy easy it makes compassion easy but it still keeps us it still keeps that space for us to go to them and say hey like like these choices are not going to get you where you want to be what can we do about it? Let's find something more skillful instead of screw you for drinking. Mm-hmm. 
It sure was a process, huh? Yeah. It's uh, it's not something you can do overnight, that's for sure. It's all a process. Yeah, man. I, I feel like people... I feel like people are a product of their environment, you know? I feel like a lot mm-hmm. of people... Don't, they don't know any better because they never saw any better. Right. You know, and we can't know what we don't know. Exactly. You know, and you know, culture and culture and family and the people around us and what we see on TV, like that kind of programs us in reality. It mm-hmm. tells us what's normal and what's right. Mm-hmm. And that's hard to see through. 